and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Cincinnati Reds taking on the New York Yankees. First pitch coming at you right after the break. All right, just about set to go. And on the hill in this one, Frankie Montas. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Hit high in the air, there it goes! See ya! That was a moonshot, his latest homer in an incredible season. And we're all square, it's tied at one. Ziggy, that's his 199th career home run. Well, 200 homers is an exciting number for anyone to get to. He's got to be looking forward to that next one a lot. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, right, go, out of the third inning, at the play, Joey Gallo. Joey Gallo. And out number one on the grab. Batting nine. The third base. So two on with two away. And here's the first baseman, number 64. Number 64. Wait for your pitch up there. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. An absolutely majestic shot. His second home run of the game, and they tack on to their lead. It's 5-1. Singy, somebody go track down that baseball. It's number 200 for him. 200 career home runs. That's legitimate power at the plate, and that's something that a lot of guys would dream of getting to. Now here's the Yankees cleanup hitter, number 64. All well, the way these two teams number have battled 64. in this game, you know you need more. Right, Got to continue to right add here. runs if you're going to get out of here with a win. Line to left. And that's down a base hit into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Oh, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you... And now the shortstop, Yu Chang. He's already homered here in this one. Turn two right here. Turn two. Here we go. Right hander kicks deals. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Throw comes in. Runner stop. Second and third. Nobody out. Two hits for him in this one. Both for extra bases. Got to feel good. Tyler Callahan getting ready to hit. And the pitch to the right side. And that one handled. He takes it on his own. That's the third out. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. Seven, eight, nine, two up in the home half of the inning. It's the Yankees seven and the Red six. So up next, Yu Chang. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. One, two now. Hit weakly on the ground. LeMayhew. Off balance feed. There's one. Over to first. Safe. 
No, that's great hustle out of the box to get down the line. Number 64 stepping in now for the Yankees. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. That's out to center field. Base hit. And that puts the tying run on base. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So now the Yankees cleanup hitter, number 64. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on-base and slugging, too. Foul ball there. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part. And the final here today, 9-8. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chambi saying so long. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB the show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Cincinnati Reds taking on the New York Yankees. First pitch coming your way next. And now, your 2023 New York Yankees. All right, first pitch coming up and getting the start, Nestor Cortez Jr. But, Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you, know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. And there's something you don't see very much in today's game, the pitch out. Keep it up. The 1 0. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. He circles the bases and they add a pair. It's 3 0. That's his third straight game with a homer, Singy. This dude is on fire, boom. These kinds of streaks just don't come around too often. Really great job of anticipation there. He knows he throws the sinker. That one down in the zone. You're trying to beat it to the spot it's getting to. Well, he won. And next for New York, number 64. Singy, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Get high in the air. There it goes. See ya. They're going crazy in the dugout. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. It's 7-5. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Loud is beautiful, shaking tiles. He's going to have nightmares about that pitch. Perfect execution. It's not supposed to produce that result. He got hurt by a really good one there, but even a better swing at the plate. Spencer Steer, the next to hit for the Reds. Now batting. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Bunny for a hit, first base side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it.
Number 64 stepping in now for the Yankees. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. Makes the grab on the run. And there's two down. And stepping in for the Yankees, number 64. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. Lined, and that's a base hit. And now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate, and they have... Number 64 now at the plate. Come on, big guy, get your pick. Number 64. Hey, we need you right here one time. Line drive to short and caught. Now batting. Here's the catcher to hit, Tyler Stevenson. A strikeout and a walk. Now batting. The catcher, Tyler Stevenson. Swing and a bouncer. Torres. Now one gone in the ninth. Jonathan India at the plate. Allen at second with two down. And that one hit to first. Steps on the bag himself. Ball game. So they break into another level with this win streak at 10 now. I think the key is to maintain the focus because you can have this motivation to get to double digits and then have a letdown. They've got to try to just put out all the distractions, turn off the sports highlights, and come back out here and play baseball the way they've been doing it in the next game. Yeah, you're